deadlier strain of impox spreads to more countries, raising global alarm a new health crisis unfolds in an alarming turn of events, a more lethal strain of MPOX, formerly known as monkeypox, is spreading across Africa, prompting urgent responses from health officials worldwide. With over 14,000 reported cases and 511 deaths in the Democratic Republic of Congo DRC, alone, and new cases emerging in neighboring countries, the World Health Organization WHO, and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, are on high alert. What does this mean for global health, and how can we respond to this growing threat? Understanding Mpox and its strains The basics of Mpox Mpox is a viral disease that spreads through close contact, including touching, kissing, and sexual activity, as well as through contaminated materials like sheets, clothing, and needles. Symptoms often include fever, a painful rash, headache, muscle and back pain, low energy, and enlarged lymph nodes. Historically, the disease has been confined to Central and West Africa but began to spread to Europe and North America in 2022. The genetic clades of Mpox Mpox is divided into two genetic clades, I and II. Clade I is more deadly but not necessarily more transmissible, while clade II caused the global outbreak in 2022. The current outbreak in the DRC is attributed to clade IB a particularly severe variant that has wreaked havoc in the region. The current outbreak in the DRC alarming statistics since January 2023, the DRC has reported over 22,000 suspected cases of clade I MPOX, resulting in more than 1,200 deaths. These figures are staggering and represent the highest number of cases on record. The rapid rise in infections and fatalities underscores the severity of this outbreak. Spread to neighboring countries, the virus has now spread to four neighboring countries, Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda, and Uganda. This spread marks the first time these nations have reported cases, raising concerns about regional containment and the potential for further international spread. Global response and measures whose emergency plans the WHO is taking decisive action by convening an emergency committee to determine whether this outbreak constitutes a public health emergency of international concern. They are also fast-tracking the emergency use listing process for MPOX vaccines to expedite access for lower-income countries. CDC's advisory The CDC has issued a health advisory recommending heightened vigilance among physicians, especially for individuals who have recently traveled from the DRC or its neighboring countries. They emphasize the importance of MPOX vaccination for those at high risk of exposure. Preventive measures and public awareness personal protection The CDC advises anyone who has traveled to the affected regions in the past 21 days and developed an unexplained rash to seek medical care immediately and avoid contact with others. Public health officials recommend using EPA-registered insect repellents, wearing long clothing, and avoiding peak mosquito hours from dusk to dawn. Community and household protection communities are encouraged to eliminate standing water, which serves as breeding grounds for mosquitoes, and ensure window and door screens are intact. Animal owners should reduce standing water around barns and stables, keep animals indoors at night, and consult veterinarians about repellents and vaccinations. The need for international cooperation funding and resources The WHO has developed a regional response plan requiring $15 million and has released $1 million from the WHO Contingency Fund for Emergencies. Despite the urgency, there is a notable lack of international funding and support, which is critical to controlling the outbreak. Call to action stopping the transmission of MPOX will require a comprehensive and coordinated international response. Dr. Michael Ryan, Executive Director of WHO's Health Emergencies Program, emphasized the need for better understanding and containment measures, 
stressing that this virus can be controlled with the right actions at the right time. A call for vigilance and action The spread of a deadlier strain of MPOX to more countries is a stark reminder of the ongoing threats posed by infectious diseases. As health officials scramble to contain the outbreak, it is imperative for the global community to act swiftly and collaboratively. By following preventive measures and supporting international efforts, we can mitigate the impact of this outbreak and protect vulnerable populations. Thank you for reading. If you found this article informative, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on global health issues. Have you or anyone you know been affected by MPOX? Share your stories and tips in the comments below. Let's stay informed and proactive in the fight against infectious diseases.